I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for starting hungry and not finishing it. I'm also sorry for filming half of this before I got a haircut and half of it after I got a haircut. And I'm sorry for not uploading in a month. In this video, I want to type all the loose ends. I wanted to start with hungry. But I got a comment on one of my videos yesterday that was a little bit more interesting. It's from a lady called Joandra Van Dowell. And basically what she says is, the thing about physical disabilities is that you have the brains to figure things out. Walking aids, etc. crutches to help you get around. With learning disabilities such as Joandra's, she sometimes doesn't have the capacity to do that. And she can spend hours daily on small tasks and put in a load of effort and come off with no results to prove it. Let's talk about this for a second. I was in New York recently with Carola. Joe! And she bought herself a skateboard from this place called Uncle Funky's Boards. Anyway, long story short, I ended up trying her skateboard, being quite shit and falling around. I used to skate when I was a kid before I went on crutches and I loved it. And Carola ended up buying me a skateboard. And don't get me wrong, I'm not great at it. I fall off quite a lot and I go pretty slowly. But who cares? When they reminisce over you, my god. My god. I can't actually carry it very well either, so it's actually more of a ball ache for the person I'm with. And I don't think I'm ever going to be a skater or be able to do tricks like this. But does that mean I should stop? Is it any less of an achievement for me because I can't do the kick flips and the half pipes and the skate parks? From Venus to Mark. Fast forward a week, I'm touching down in Nice for a wheelchair fencing competition. Mm, nice, very nice. Thanks. After the wheelchair fencing, we had fencing for blind people and for people with learning disabilities. I filmed a little bit, but in landscape, so I'm just gonna hang out while you guys watch that. Now, neither of these two disciplines are recognized internationally as a Paralympic sport, and they don't have their own league, but they still spend the same amount of time and money as anyone else does. So, here's a bonus question. Is their effort or achievement any less because they can't achieve the same amount of results as an able-bodied fencer can simply because of their disability. 10 points for Gryffindor if you got the answer correct. The answer is no. I also tried out blind fencing. It's pretty insane. Top down on the good day, the I don't will wait. Got casting and shit, I stay fuck what the hood say. Niggas wanna rob me now. Anyway, after these, I head out to Montreal. For another World Cup. I'd seriously lost all track of date and time at this point. Kevin's log, start date 2259.55. So on the first day, there were about 25 people that entered the competition. There were four medals in fencing. There's one for gold, silver, and then two for bronze. 21 people then walked away with nothing. And we're talking about Montreal here. This is in the middle of Canada. I flew out from London. Some other people flew out from France, from Korea, from Japan. These guys have come all the way over and walk away choice of words and leave with nothing you get nothing good day sir that doesn't make them any less of a winner and you're probably like that doesn't make any sense obviously they're not winners if they didn't win a medal i want to draw you guys a graph like this lens is not going to do that's white perfect so what i'm trying to say is that you've got your effort and you've got your results say one day you get a great draw right your effort's the same you had a great breakfast, you're feeling yourself, okay? Your effort is gonna come out there. Okay, maybe you get a gold. Yes! 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 Then say another day. You didn't sleep very well, you're not feeling yourself today, your blade snaps. The same effort can come out with a shitter result. Your effort is not equal to your results. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't make it any less frustrating when you put in 100% and you get back shit. To bring this back to Joandra's comment, you can't measure yourself by other people's achievements. There's always going to be someone better than you. There's always going to be someone worse than you. It's completely irrelevant. And if you know you put in 100% effort and it's taking you 10 hours, 1 hour, 4 hours, it takes someone else 20 minutes, it doesn't matter. Because you've put in that effort and that is yours. Yours to keep. No one can take that away from you. 